Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to display a table like this in PDF in React.js using this JS PDF and also JS PDF auto table. Okay, yeah, in my case, here I already created a React project and also I'm running this project. And yeah, I'm going to use this data. Okay, and first we need to import this plugins. I mean, install this plugin. So copy this and install this i will give this command in the description and install this here first one is js pdf and another one is js pdf auto table okay and in my case i already installed so first i'm going to import this one the two plugin okay so copy this and yeah imported that i mean import that i don't want this i just put it uh js pdf and save this and after that I'm going to create one button and here and then PDF and I'm going to create on click for this here handle generate and copy this and save this and after that I'm going to create one function for this so const and paste that here first i want to add a const doc here i want to add a js pdf this one yeah. and add a bracket after that i want to create uh, i mean i just create one variable for title this is pdf demo and i want to get a padding just i give five after that i'm going to get this title in center because we have this title in center right so first we need to calculate this width of this title so copy that here const title width here doc dot get text width this one and paste the title and after that I'm going to just create a center variable this is the calculation to align the title in center so here I'm going to create bracket and inside bracket I'm going to add a doc and internal dot page size dot width and it's divided by 2 and I'm going to minus the this title width okay here I'm going to create one more bracket and yeah it's divided by 2 now we get value in this center and i want to add a doc dot text first i'm going to display the title here and i want to pass center and padding to okay first i'm going to save this and here i mean i'm going to here i'm going to save this file so this one will save the file here i'm going to give a pdf name this is demo pdf home uh, demo pdf yeah dot specify the file pdf save this yeah go to browser and i'm going to refresh the screen and if i click this generate button here pdf is downloaded here text is center aligned i need some spacing so here i'm going to change this to 10 and i'm going to close this one i'm going to download again since here right yeah we have some space at the top and yeah now i want to create the table so after this dot auto table i mean inside auto table i want to add a uh, two key one is for uh, head it's in it contains uh, array and here I'm going to display the body so this one and first i'm going to display the header here we have some variable like this okay to display this variable id and name this is phone another one is email and joined then 
total amount finally paid date paid amount here i'm going to loop the now title is ready i'm going to loop this value and here paste that dot map here val and i'm going to add a id to here i'm going to display the array and first values first i'm going to display the this number so i dot i mean i plus one and after that val dot name val dot second one is email right sorry phone val dot phone yeah now phone email id name is created and joined val dot paste that one joined and here val dot uh, total amount and val dot paid yeah this one now we looping the i mean now the header and title is ready i'm going to save this one again going here i'm going to close this previous one and yeah i'm going to download this here we get a table like this this is the default format of this okay we can also change the width of this table spacing okay i will show you so if you want to add a custom spacing for this so we need to add a column style okay styles here i want to create an object here initially the zero index totally we have zero one two three four five six okay so here i want to add a cell width okay here inside cell width i want to pass the 10 percentage for this yeah i'm going to add a comma here so totally we have six right three and three seven so this one is one two three and four this is one five yeah this is six totally we have seven cells here you can specify the height of this here just change this to 35 for a name and phone number is 25 first i save this one okay and i will change this later here this is the without giving a cell width okay now i'm going to click this one here it's downloaded right here it's showing like this if i specify i mean if you specify a width for the cells it will be like this here this three is perfect but this is not good okay so i need to add a cell width okay so here just give a 40 here this is 30 and just give 20 for this because these are all amounts as i say this and i'm going to download again yeah now this is displaying like this you can add a custom width like this okay here i'm going to just increase this one for uh, yeah after that you can change the header color also okay so you need to add a header style here so you need to add a comma here so here head style and here i want to add a fill color fill color is background color okay here you can give a uh, any color like just i give a uh, gray okay and after that i'm going to give a uh, text color this is white save this go here to download again why it's showing error here gray oh we need to add some value here so like this okay just add a a one six one eight just this one i want to reload this again i want to add a when it's downloaded now the header color is changed and background is also working right why the gray color is not 
work here thank you red will this work yeah yeah it's working i think that spelling was wrong i think okay yeah this color is also working now also you can change this pdf demo color also okay i'll show you here doc dot set text color here you need to specify the color of this here i just give this same red color sorry save this go here and if i click download file is downloaded here yeah now our title and pdf header and everything is ready yeah this is what i try to tell in this video i think this video will help you bye bye